One of my friends told me that despite using minoxidil for over a year, her hair started falling as soon as she stopped using minoxidil. She's curious to understand what happened and what did she do wrong. Now, minoxidil is a vasodilator, which means that it increases the blood flow to your hair follicles. It gives your hair that extra boost of oxygen and nutrients. But you have to understand that hair contains some of the fastest dividing cells in our body and any kind of stress is going to affect them. In women, two of the most common causes of hair loss include stress-induced telogen effluvium and genetically determined female pattern hair loss. Unfortunately, while we can't do much about correcting female pattern hair loss, which happens due to weakening of your hair roots under the effect of a hormone called dihydrotestosterone, the second most common cause of hair loss, telogen effluvium, can be almost 100% corrected with proper therapy. Telogen effluvium most commonly arises following nutritional deficiencies like vitamin B12, vitamin D or iron deficiency, following hormonal imbalance like thyroid dysfunction or polycystic ovarian disease, or while your body is recovering from an illness like COVID-19, typhoid or dengue, and even during periods of mental distress. Once we have figured out the underlying cause and you're taking proper medication or therapy to recover, it will take your hair follicles around three to six months to start growing back normally again. And during such periods of stress, minoxidil can be like a lifeboat, keeping you afloat until help arrives. In my case, I have been recently diagnosed with telogen effluvium due to vitamin D deficiency and until my vitamin D stores recover, I am using minoxidil to reduce my hair fall.